Okay, I am so sorry this review took so long for me to get out there, but I finally have watched Superman five times and I am ready to review it, so let's get it started. Man of Steel. So Man of Steel is the brand new reboot to the Superman franchise, bringing new life into it this year and a new set of movies. And it revolves around Kal-El or Clark Kent as he's more well known. Becoming Superman, you know, he's a he's an alien from a different planet called Krypton, and Krypton is just this planet that is just, it's dying, man. The planet is just going to hell, and it, we actually spend some time on the planet before we get back, we get down to Earth, where it starts out as Jarrell and his wife, they're trying to get their son off of Krypton and onto Earth to save his life, for he is the last hope of Krypton. And even more than that, he's going to become a symbol of hope for all of humanity. And this is where we get a first look at the villain, the main villain of the entire series, Zod. A very well-known villain in the Superman universe, and not a bad one to start off with. And that would make this movie a combo of the first Superman movie and the second one. Not a bad choice of movie to start off with. But once Superman hits Earth, it immediately skips over, I want to say, 20, maybe 30 years into the future, and then, with, and then his hit past is told in a bunch of flashbacks, just like in the first Batman movie. Well, not first, but... Batman Begins, you know, it's, I'm just saying that because David Escoy wrote the book, and what, whatever. His past is told in flashbacks, and a lot of these flashbacks are really well done. They have really a lot of great actors in it. They got a really good guy to play Superman. This guy, he is Superman. This is one scene where he's um, talking to this guy, trying to ask him to leave the bar, and in the most Superman way, he could tell him to leave. He did. He's just like, well, I'm just going to have to, you know, I'll, uh, Ask you to leave, sir. And he's all, he's very, this guy, he's awesome. This movie's not only a great Superman movie, it's a great sci fi movie. There's like a lot of really cool um, sci fi elements that are thrown in this movie. Not just when we're on Krypton, but after we leave Krypton, there is more to be explained. There's more shown here. It's so cool. And the fights, oh my god, guys, the fights in this movie. This is the reason this movie was made to give us the best Superman fights you've ever seen. Not just the best Superman fights. Just the best, this is the Dragon Ball Z movie we should have had, people. Okay, not Dragon Ball Evolution, this is the Dragon Ball fight that you wanted to see. People just flying around when they get punched, they are flying, just building the building, flying over the place, shooting the high beams at you, other. Uh... I tell you, on the ground fights are awesome too, because you think... Because you think in a movie that people, when they fight on ground, they have super speed. You think they would not only just run up to you, they would just flash you. And they show that because when they punch, it's like, pew, pew, pew. It is really cool. Now, a lot of people complain about this movie and they say there's not enough character development. And it's all thrown away and there's some really, there's a lot of problems with the movie. There is not a lot of problems and there are moments of character building. There are some really good ones. Maybe not as much as you'd expect. Um, for this movie, but there are some great moments in here. Um, maybe not as much, again, as people would expect. And I will say the first half of this movie was pretty choppy in its delivery with the flashback scenes. It, it seems like they were just jumping back and forth all over the place a little bit, but the second half of this movie really makes up for it and picks it up. Around the time the fights come in, about halfway into the movie, or maybe like more of the action, I want to say not the fights, but the action. It really picks up and it becomes such a better, much better movie. It's a really good Superman movie again, a really good reboot to the franchise. Henry Cavill is Superman, man. He is the man of steel. Zod, though, the guy who had to play Zod, I'm not going to say he was a great Zod, but he was good as a villain. He wasn't the most emotional character, but they give an explanation of why he's not so emotional. But in the end of the last fight, he really, he shows, yeah, he's got some emotion in there, it's, and it's not good. There's no good emotion in this man. And one cool thing is the heat vision, man. Like ha like most of the movie, the heat vision, you don't even see it come out the eyes. He just looks at his eyes burn red, like right over here, burning red too. That is cool, but when it shows the heat vision, it's like, just burns. That's cool. Another really awesome thing is they got the flying down. One thing in a Superman movie nowadays, you have to get the flying down, okay? I mean, and also when it shows Superman flying for the first time, that is so cool, because I mean, when you fly, when you, if you ever flew for the first time, would you just be like, just so graceful? No, man, you'd just be like, yeah, just so happy, just, ah, just flying through the sky. They showed that a lot, that was cool. It's definitely better than Superman Returns, I'll give you that. 
in the end, Man of Steel was such a fun movie. It has a lot of great action, a lot of great characters. Henry Cavill is the best Superman I've seen in a while. I'm not going to say he's the best of all time, but in terms of live action representation, he is there, okay? He is a great Superman. And they had a great villain, they had a great set of fight scenes, they had a great set of character moments. I will say Man of Steel is worth watching in 3D. It might not get the buy rating, but Man of Steel's 3D rating, it's already out on Blu-ray right now in 3D. Go buy it in 3D. It's so much fun to see in the 3D, I might say it's worth it. Alright, so that was my review of Man of Steel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next After the Show.